But all right. So I'm going to be checking out this small little interview that they gave with Ed Boon talking about how Homelander and Omni-Man will be different. And honestly, like when I saw the combat pack reveal that Omni-Man and Homelander were going to be in that, I was kind of getting the vibe that, well, it's kind of going to be like the similarities with the fact that Omni-Man is like Superman, but freaking has like horrible amount of freaking strength. Um, and then you have Omni-Man, which is kind of the same thing as Superman, but has lasers in his eyes, so he falls more in that depth, but apparently they're going to differentiate, and in this interview, hopefully it explains with more. This fall, including your upcoming downloadable characters, are Omni-Man, Homelander, Peacemaker. For Homelander and Peacemaker, you've got Anthony Starr and John Cena, they're the likenesses uh, of the actors. Are the actors actually coming in to record any dialogue or any grunts for the, we for had, the characters? We had J.K., um... J.K. Simmons coming in. We had um, dude. Um, I can't wait. John Cena. You know, so so uh, we're super fortunate to get to get them excited enough yeah. that they know. Dude, uh, I wonder how John Cena felt when he got his character reveal scene. You want to be in Mortal Kombat? I mean, you're gonna end up getting fatality, but you get to be in a game that is not WWE. Bro, that is freaking awesome. That is an honor to get. They play very differently in the final game. Can you elaborate on that at all? Yeah, absolutely. I think a number of people think of Homelander and and Omni Man as evil versions of Superman, right? And, yeah. And so they have, you know, super they're strength, they can fly, and they're that, that kind of category. How about Brightburn versus Homelander? Play differently. You know, I haven't watched the boys, so you can do with uh, don't spoil it, because I want to watch it with you know, time. Paths that they take, right. you know, it's it's not like um, it's this free-for-all. So they will absolutely play differently. And when it comes to you know, when it comes to designing fatalities, uh, obviously it seems like wait, you guys wait, have what was going on? no limits. Oh, like, let's just go as crazy as as, as wacky as possible. Wait. Talking about Omni Man and Homelander, even though the characters are actually fairly similar, let's you're gonna see. make sure that they play very differently in the final game. Can you elaborate on that at all? Yeah, absolutely. I think a, a number of people think of Homelander and and uh, Omni Man as evil versions of Superman, right? Uh -huh. and, and so they have, you know, super strength, they can fly, and they're that, that kind of category, but we're absolutely going to make them play differently. You know, they, there's there's obviously a ton you can do with a character that's that can fly and is that strong, you know, just... Okay, so they they're, they're know, gonna it's, take it's the, not, um, the similarity, ball. which is so flight, absolutely play differently. but they're all gonna when be different. To, you know, okay. To designing fatalities, uh, I don't know what to expect like for these characters. No Homelander that are seemingly... Uh, all powerful yeah. at that is it is that an extra challenge or do you have to actually show some restraint at that no, point? No, no, no. It's 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 one of the easy ones. You know, Good. we're such fans of these characters, and we've watched the shows, yeah. and we love making, um, getting inspiration from some of the things that they've done. So it, they will like go with the fact of what they have, talent. the sources so that they get, a big part which that, is that um, playing those characters. That's super you exciting. see Omni Man, how freaking uh, crazy he is, do you play like, like in the first episode, in general, and then you see well, Homelander, the same thing. Story. Like, you would oh, get well, an inspiration of how they, how know, exactly in, they in, could in do Mortal a fatality. 11, yeah. uh, with less than a month to go before Mortal Kombat One, what's the one thing you're most excited about for players to discover? All right, let's see. Uh, I, for me, it's the cameo fighters, mm -hmm. but but there's a ton of, of new things. You know, the invasion or the invasions is going to be a, 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 a it's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of secrets in there. Uh -huh. you, know, this, you know, this is Mortal Kombat. That's a big yeah. part of what we consider uh, yeah. its signature is is the secrets. But there's there's so much single player experience. You know, more than we've ever put in a big game. Okay. Uh, to me, the cameo fighters are is going to be what's really going to let players come up with new ideas express themselves and yes combining the cameos are freaking <laughs> they're the they're unique match, matching of these they're uh, awesome main cameo fighters that i think is going to be the uh the kind of like the sandbox that everybody's going to be playing in mm. i'm super excited and thank you so much for coming by the agent stage thanks for having me awesome dude that's that's a freaking uh interesting take of like how stuff are like there's going to be more stuff for single player players and there's also going to be uh, cameos um, of varieties that people like have not seen, but now they get to see them again. And that is going to be freaking awesome because like there's some characters that a lot of people were asking for, but if they get the chance to become cameos, it's still awesome. Um, there's one more thing that I wanted to showcase that revolves Mortal Kombat. And here is the Cyrax <laughs> Fatality. The people were able to showcase to all of us. 
who are not able to get this gift. Like, check this out. Like, I saw this on Twitter, I was like, oh gosh, dude. imagine that like they went from <laughs> they literally went from the beginning of uh mortal kombat 3 where it was just the arcade and it it showcased the bombs it showcased the earth but it, it had like the shaking and then it like disappeared now in mortal kombat 1 it looks way more vivid like and i don't know if you were able to hear it but you could hear katana say no before the planet legit explodes like that is crazy for uh fatality um that they went from classic crazy um dude th th this game just brings so much hype to me like seeing that there's these characters that uh we haven't seen now make an appearance like i i didn't know who havoc was i didn't know who ashra was and all these other characters but now that i am able to see them now in this game um now there's a new storyline now there's something different like secrets um stuff that we didn't expect and everything else was just amazing dude the hype is definitely there it's less than a month away to play this game and like i said when i get this game i'm gonna play the story mode that's my freaking first thing i'm gonna be playing before i do the um What's it called? Um, before I do the single player modes, and yeah, but I'm excited. Let's freaking go, fatality!